ever grow microalgae to feed the shellfish. So this is one of the green ones. Mm -hmm. It's almost fed out and then we'll be ready to uh, clean the tube again and then fill it up and start the process all over again. Which one tastes better? Uh, well, they're all good tasting to the animals. <laughs> wow, this is like Frankenstein. So this is a, a, a bag that continuous algal culture system. These are the feed lines. So the pasteurized seawater is being fed into the bag. It's slowly dripping into the bag. It'll start to fill up and then we'll inoculate it with two liters of algae. Mm -hmm. We just little, we call it the belly button. It's to this level here. Now it's ready to be harvested. So the food, the algae comes out of here, goes down this tube here into this uh, collection bucket. And in here there's a sump pump. Mm -hmm. So as the algae fills up, pump kicks on and now it's pumping algae out into the uh, hatchery to feed the animals. Okay. And this all started with a, a little a little vial. vial. <laughs> uh, Last year at this time these were just microscopic eggs. And then in a year's time, they grew to be this size. And then by the fall, they would be about that big. They're, they're called they're true hermaphrodites. So they can give off both eggs and sperm. Oh, that sounds like fun. So this area here, the black area, will turn a bright orange color. And those will become the eggs. And the white, um, it's a little hard to see. But there's a, sort of a white stripe there mm -hmm. in there. That's the sperm that's developing now. So out in nature, say it's June, and then all of a sudden there's sort of the first heat wave. Um, that'll increase the water temperature rapidly. Mm -hmm. And we try to mimic that here. And that increase in temperature, um, a rapid increase, um, is usually enough to trigger a spawn to occur. So we try to replicate that here in the spawning table. Mm -hmm. So in hatchery, that's how we were able to grow millions of animals, is that we contain all the eggs. Out in nature, they'll be released into a big uh, body of water. Uh -huh. And it's just by chance that um, uh, sperm is going to come in contact with an egg. And baby scallops are placed in here. Okay. We close it up. The scallops will swim everywhere inside and attach themselves to the bag. Okay. This is placed out in the creek. Mm -hmm. And then they're feeding off just the wild, whatever phytoplankton that's out in the wild. The scallops will go into what's called a, a lantern net. Mm. Is this what we see um, over the bridge in Orient? In Orient Harbor? Yeah. yeah. That's where uh, these are hanging on a long line. Okay. Submerged long line. That four scallop barge, really. This what that's what goes out into Orient Harbor. Oh, okay. We put the long line over these two support structures mm -hmm. and just move the barge along, and then we take these nets off and change the scallops in and out of the nets. There it is. That is the biggest scallop sanctuary in the world. Orient Harbor, Long Island, New York.